Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Confirm compound object in 3ds Max. Now, Confirm is a very unique kind of a compound object which actually let you uh, to project one object's vertex into another surface. Now here, let's suppose this is one uneven surface and there is another object that I've created simply like uh, looking like a road into a uneven surface. So in this case, we are going to use confirm compound object to create this effect. So let's see how we can do that. I'm just uh, recreating the entire scene and also so that you can understand what are the important requirements for this confirm. Okay. So first of all, I need to create a plane with a very uh, high amount of uh, subdivision, let's say 40, so that I can create the terrain uh, kind of a surface. Now for creating that, I will use a modifier that's called noise. Now we have already uh, have a tutorial regarding the noise modifier. If you don't know how to use the noise modifier, you can go uh, to our uh, 3ds Maps section to find out it. Okay, so just to decrease uh, the scale value and also increase the z-axis. Fine. Okay. That will do for me. Go to the shaded view to save the memory. Okay, now this is my object that has been, you know, uh, on which my another, uh, the surface will actually uh, follow. For creating the surface, I'll just go to the shape objects and through line, I'll create I fine like this now I need to give it a thickness for giving the thickness just uh, go to the rendering section and switch on the enable in viewport where uh, change the radial type to rectangular type and also increase the width to give it the thickness That's it. Pull it up and you can reduce the length because this is almost useless because uh, that will actually project exactly on top of the of the surface. Just a bit, little bit reduce the value. Okay, fine. Now, what we'll do is now we have to convert this object, this line object into a polygonal one otherwise it, its surface is not going to calculate the deformation convert to poly fine now what we will do we will uh, use the confirm compound object to project this road onto that particular surface for creating that you have to maintain the selection of that this particular object which object is going to wrap onto the onto the surface so this is my wrapper object and this is my wrap to object so select the wrapper object go to geometry compound object and switch on the conform now you can see immediately that pick wrap to object is the first option that you need to create that is this uh, in this case which is the terrain now there are lots of different options that are out there which are uh, sometimes really a requirement uh, according to your uh, scenario that you want to put but in this case my uh, most of the options are, are not required but I'll go through some of the options that you really really have to know before you move okay now wrapper object is already been selected that is spline 
and wrap to object I will select after after going through these options now the vertex projection direction is a very important one I generally prefer the use the active viewport in this case will be my top viewport and otherwise you can use if you want to project according to the camera angle you can use the perspective one so it will actually projecting as you can see uh, as you see the angle uh, here front viewport and left viewport is actually useless because uh, there is no other way that you have to we can create that but yes definitely if you want to put something onto an object like level uh, kind of a thing or maybe a, a protrusion kind of a thing on, over the wall which is uh, created on the front viewport then you can use the front viewport also here another option is there use any object z axis that is a very interesting one because uh, depending on the z axis is really can help you uh, to determine the directions of the uh, uh, the vertex projection so you can switch on to it or you can along the vertex normal right now i'm not going to use any of this i'm going to stick on to the use active viewport fine now the wrapper parameter is default projection distance and the standoff distance by default these values of what these values are 1 1 and I'm going to let it be why because uh, there is a there will be an issue of thickness and everything and I will I will sort that thing out uh, in a very different way okay now update you can always update or you can manually or maybe when you are rendering if you have a very complex kind of a, a structure now the last option is really really important result or operand operand means these two wrapper and wrap to objects that you want to display the result or the you can stay with the operands I definitely go for the results and hide wrap to object is really really important because this can give you a very a different kind of a you know um, when you when you're creating this the first time this will give you uh, something uh, very confusing because uh, uh, let's see what actually happened if I switch off the uh, wrap to object but right now I'm going to switch on the hide wrap to object I'll definitely show what is this hide wrap to object actually do but before that let me show you what is the result so remember click on to the top viewport it's better to you move on to the top viewport and maximize it then switch on the pick wrap to object and select the terrain if you get back to the perspective you can immediately see that object has been wrapped onto the surface now my conform has been done but let's see what hide wrap to objects actually do if you switch off the hide wrap to object you can see you have already a object a, a, a another surface the duplicate surface that is consisting of the two different objects wrapper and the wrap to I don't want to get confused about this you can see you can flickering happening and you can immediately understand there's a duplicate object is there so I don't want to get confused regarding this so I, I always uh, do hide wrap to object before uh, start confirming okay now as my confirming has been done you can see there are a few areas like this need to be care of so as this thing is actually happened because it don't have it lost actually its thickness now to get it giving it a thickness uh, if you convert this to an editable poly and extrude as the uh, the surface has a different kind of a normal direction of each and every faces you can give it uh, you can give it, uh, it this can this can give you a nightmare now like either you can uh, convert to it convert this surface to an editable poly or if you want to retain your confirm operands you can put a modifier called edit poly to convert this object into a polygonal object fine now if you select the all the faces and hit uh, extrude from it you can see nothing happening because it cannot calculate this surface extrusion according to the normal directions of that particular object for creating this uh, extrusion I will recommend you another modifier that is face extrude we have already uh, have a 
tutorial on the face extrude modifier in our uh, basic section of 3s max if you want you can watch them it's a very easy one just to increase the value and you can see each and every face is actually been extruded towards its normal and it's a very easy very handy way to extrude the faces whenever you are not uh, editing it in a very manual way Okay, so that's how you can uh, create the thickness of that particular uh, road or maybe the surface uh, to create that particular uh, look. So this is the Conform is all about. I hope you enjoy this and also understand this. If you have any kind of uh, question, you can put that into the comment section of YouTube or maybe our, our website also so that we can have a discussion about your question so hope you enjoy this thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and also like our facebook page and follow us on youtube thank you